When the London public looked at an ordinary photo of a girl, they were transfixed by the beauty and details of the portrait. But by taking a much closer look, they discovered something truly shocking and startling. When he finally deemed this exhibition ready to be presented to the public, the mysterious artist wearing big black glasses blended into the furniture. He didn't want to be seen by the visitors. Even though he was fairly certain that nobody was going to recognize him as the man behind the artworks on the walls, what he wanted was a front row seat to their reactions, a possibility to admire their bewildered expressions upon learning the shocking truth behind these works. As visitors entered the gallery, they were greeted by the buzz of excitement and anticipation that filled the air. The gallery's walls were adorned with a mesmerizing array of soulful images, each more captivating than the last. The spotlight was on the portrait of the young girl that had garnered a level of intrigue unparalleled by the other artworks. She was just a plain ordinary girl, but that's what had grasped the attention of so many people around the world. Patrons stood before the photograph, their gazes carefully tracing every delicate contour and nuance. The level of intricacy was spellbinding. It was as if the photographer had somehow frozen a moment in time, encapsulating the very essence of the girl's being. It was not just a photograph to the observers. It was a window into another world, a realm brimming with untold stories and emotions. The fine details of the photograph astounded them. Each individual strand of hair seemed to dance in harmony with the ethereal lighting, cascading down in waves that whispered secrets of youth and innocence. Tiny rivulets of light gently caressed her face, illuminating her radiant complexion with a warm glow. The exquisite texture of her skin was almost palpable, revealing the intimate intricacies and imperfections that made her uniquely beautiful. People eagerly engaged in animated conversations, marveling at the photographer's ability to capture so much personality within a single frame. The discussion among viewers was passionate and diverse, as they eagerly shared their interpretations and assumptions. They passionately debated over the girl's origins, speculating about her name, her background, and the incredible life that had brought her to this point in time. All the while, the artist remained hidden behind the column, eagerly eavesdropping on their conversations. He loved hearing their versions of the truth and couldn't choose the one he liked more. A little boy and his father stared at the photo, their eyes wide with amazement at how there could be so much beauty in such an ordinary thing. The boy then asked his father why the girl looked that way and what the slight little smile was about. The duo came up with the story that she was the daughter of a sailor who had gone away to sea for many years, and that she had just caught sight of her father's ship on the horizon, returning home to her. That is why she was smiling. Another couple speculated that she was looking at her lover, at a child, or perhaps at the house she was sharing with her beloved family. Her serene expression seemed to suggest that she was gazing at someone or something she loved, or at the very least, something that made her happy. The artist simply smiled. He was glad that his work sparked positive emotions in the visitors. Of course, she knew exactly what the girl had been looking at that day. Neither the father and son duo or the couple had guessed the right answer, but at the same time, those weren't the wrong answers either. After all, he firmly believed that there are no right interpretations in art. The girl's portrait became the centerpiece of the exhibition, drawing crowds from far and wide who were captivated by the depth captured within her expressive features. And there were many other similar photographs of unassuming people, all of whom had a story to tell and secrets behind those highly detailed eyes and smiles. But as the gallery's door swung open each morning, inviting a steady stream of art enthusiasts, the portrait of the girl remained an enigma wrapped in beauty. The little boy had looked at the photo and seen some of himself in the girl. She was brave and adventurous like him, and she had a playful side. He could tell that she would be the kind of girl he would love to hang out with, and he enjoyed the time spent studying each and every detail that the photo had to offer. Similarly, his father was equally enchanted, enjoying the technical aspects of the photo and marveling at the photographer's work. But who was the photographer? No one was quite sure, and even those that knew his name did not recognize him. Rumors circulated that he had emerged from the depths of obscurity, a mysterious figure shrouded in anonymity. Perhaps he was some kind of prodigious talent, an artist whose innovative and unique perspective could breathe life into the ordinary. He seemed to possess an extraordinary talent for peering into the soul and effortlessly transcribing its deepest emotions onto the delicate canvas of film. With an uncanny ability to unveil the raw essence of his subjects, 
he captured not only their physical appearance, but also the intangible moments and ephemeral beauty that rendered his photographs a portal into the realms of emotion and experience. Each frame was saturated with the undeniable presence and complexity of human existence, leaving viewers fascinated and hungry for more. Listening to the people speculate, he couldn't help but be proud of himself and the work he had done. The little boy and his father finally turned from the photo of the girl and the boy was clearly inspired, telling his father that he too wanted a camera to take photos like the one they had just been marveling at. His father, buoyed by his son's enthusiasm for such a beauty and creative outlet, told him that he'd see what he could do. This was how the photo of the young girl really inspired people. But what the little boy and his father, nor anyone else for that matter, didn't know was that despite how incredibly detailed the image of the girl looked, Dad and all of the other photos in the gallery weren't actually photographs at all. They were intricate paintings by an artist named Kei Mieno. When the truth came out, no one could believe what they were hearing, as the images looked unbelievably lifelike. Kei Mieno, a Japanese artist born in Hiroshima in 1988, has been passionately pursuing his career as a professional painter for over a decade. With an incredible knack for hyperrealism, this 35-year-old artist has mesmerized audiences with his unparalleled skills. Mieno primarily employs oil paintings as his chosen medium, showcasing his mastery over this traditional technique. His awe-inspiring artworks possess an uncanny ability to deceive viewers, leaving them convinced that they are gazing upon a genuine photograph rather than a meticulously crafted painting. Speculators from all corners of the globe consistently find themselves astounded and captivated when they discover the astonishing truth behind Mieno's creations. What made the paintings even more incredible was that Ki Mieno chose to include all of the imperfections and little blemishes that an artist may usually choose to omit from their work. He made the conscious decision to paint the absolute truth documenting every last detail in his deliberate, masterful brushstrokes. This is why so many people found it so hard to believe. But that level of confusion and bewilderment was okay, because that is exactly the reaction that Kei Mieno wanted. He wanted people to look at his art and feel like they were looking at a photograph. That made the revelation that they were in fact painting all the more fun and sweet. He wanted to blur the line between what is real and what is not, and leave people with a sense of wonder after all, the eyes cannot always be believed. At the end of the day, Mieno left the gallery feeling deeply satisfied and humbled by both the turnout of visitors and their reactions to his paintings. He was glad that those people had been able to catch the essence of his work, and even happier that he had managed to inspire a deep love for art in many souls, especially younger ones. He firmly believed that anyone could be an artist and he couldn't wait to see where those little art lovers would be in 10 or 20 years' time. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? Have you ever heard of Kei Mieno or seen any of his art in real life? Were you convinced that the hyperreal paintings were actually photos? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below.